when we're talking about half steps, there are two kinds of half steps. There's a diatonic half step and a chromatic half step. Now you remember, I said we're going to find out whether we should call this a D flat or a C sharp, right? Mm -hmm. This is going to help us know that. It's one part of knowing what to call it, okay? A diatonic half step, diatonic starts with a D, correct? D-I-A, diatonic, D. Different starts with a D, correct? Diatonic, different. A diatonic half step has a different letter name. A diatonic half step above C natural would be D flat. Diatonic, it's got to have a different letter name. Can't be a C sharp. Got to be a D flat. It's a diatonic half step. A chromatic half step above C is C sharp. It's got the same letter name. Here I am on F sharp. Okay? I want a chromatic, excuse me, a diatonic half step above F sharp. Diatonic D, different. What is a diatonic half step above F sharp? G flat is F sharp. That's an inharmonic. Right? I don't understand the difference between the chromatic and the inharmonic. The inharmonic is the same note. The chromatic half step is is, is different note. Just different. Now we got to figure out what to call it. It's a different note. Okay, here's C. Okay, if I want a chromatic half step above C, it's going to be called a C sharp chromatic. Same letter name. That's C sharp chromatic half step above C. Oh, I want C again. I want a diatonic half step above C. It has to be called D flat. It's the same note. So it's just on half steps. Half steps. So a diatonic half step starting with a D is a different letter name. A chromatic half step is the same letter name. All right? So here I am on F sharp. I want a diatonic half step above F sharp. What would it be? Somebody said it over G. See that? You understand that? Who does not understand that? Diatonic half step above, here we are on G, on, on F sharp. First of all, when you do this, go to your keyboard, get a picture of the keyboard, go someplace, put your finger on F sharp, and then go to the half step. Okay, well now what do I call it? Is it a diatonic half step or a chromatic half step? Well, I said diatonic half step. So this has to have a different letter name than F sharp. So what is the letter name? G. G. Okay. So you understand that now? All right. Now I want a chromatic half step above F sharp, which would mean it would have to have what kind of name? Some kind of F name. So F double sharp. That's a chromatic half step. Let me play them both for you. This is F sharp. Here is my diatonic half step G. Okay? Here's my F sharp. Here is my chromatic half step, F double sharp. You follow me? They're the same. The difference is what we call it. That's all we're talking about. This helps down the road. Because then I can say to you, I can say to you that the major scale, all the notes are diatonic. Meaning they all have to have a different letter name. Okay? That helps.